Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and I got a full cast and crew today, like a cast and a crew, not just one, but both. Uh, and let's get started introducing everybody. We got uh, Sue Ann, Edge of Comics, McGinnis. Here to bring the terror. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> We've also got uh, Cat, just Cat. She doesn't have a player name in there or anything. What's your player's <laughs> name? What's your character's name? Doesn't have a name, sadly. Okay, so while we're all playing, <laughs> think of a totally awesome name. Yeah, I'll think of that. <laughs> all right, awesome. Um, yeah, Kat was here during our character creation. She was not here for the first game. Priorities business, I get it. It is what it is. <laughs> we got Effie. Um, uh, it's actually Sammy or Samus. or You, you, just, you change your name as, as much as I can, as much as I do. <laughs> By the way, does anybody notice my totally awesome name? Morlock. Yes! <laughs> I'm the Morlock King. <laughs> this translation apparently means all praise the Morlock gods. So it works. <laughs> right on. Um, and we've got Kaya or Megan R. Miller, author extraordinaire, just moving into her new house. Do you have your books readily available? Uh, they're also packed still, unfortunately, but they do exist. They do exist, um, and they also come in digital. <laughs> and most of them just come in digital print is a very difficult medium to work with i'm going to stop making excuses now i just need to go get stuff done <laughs> nice <funny>. pleasure <laughs> all right so when left we left yeah when left we left off when last we left off words what exactly <laughs> happened it's not it's pronunciation so <laughs> who can tell me what happened recently big drama or 20 so much karma drama. points. Oh, so much drama. Like, there was a masquerade ball, and my evil fiance was like trying to get in Sue's pants. I had to role play that. I recorded the whole thing, and like now we've got like this inter house incident. Tamara has all the blackmail points. She's just sitting there on her phone re watching the situation, going, Yeah, I totally macked him. <laughs> <laughs> I taught a thief how to thief. You did. You did indeed. And you all got to meet a turtle handler. One of the royal turtle <laughs> right. handlers, which was kind of freaking cool. All right. So what are you three doing now? I guess this is just after the party. Yes, if you wish. Probably still reeling after all the drama. <laughs> replaying the, the footage morning. uploading it to youtube or maybe not yet i don't know <laughs> it's underwater so it's like bubble tube or something <laughs> tomorrow's already uploaded it and sent it to three trusted colleagues <laughs> plus she's right now playing candy crush on her phone she's just zoning out <laughs> is candy crush still a thing it is yes. to her Somewhat. <laughs> yes it's still a thing okay <laughs> It came preloaded on this laptop. Oh, mm -hmm. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Okay. Never do you mind then. So, <laughs> what do we have? Um, uh, Sue Ann and I grew up with Tetris. I don't know what this Candy Crush stuff is. <laughs> Tetris. I will fight yeah. you over. I will beat you at Tetris. Let's go. It's it on. on. It's on. No. We can twitch this right now. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Continuing on. Sorry. No worries. So, um, what also next morning? Yeah, you guys are uploading stuff and making fun of things and mm -hmm. and putting <laughs> putting uh I don't know like what are the, the eggplant emojis with like wall <laughs> emojis, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, blueberry emojis, <laughs> all sorts of things like that and and yeah. So um and at this point, I guess you guys all uh, chilled out over Kaya's house, the the house of Dorma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, I want to say the sun is up, but you know, whatever, <laughs> it's underwater. And uh, Tamara's just chilling out on one of the couches. She's got like this complete spread of food. She's just waiting for the other guys. And she's drinking her coffee. But for all the spread of food, she hasn't really touched anything. Her mind's like going a mile a minute to what she's going to do next. 
all the Capri Sun juice boxes are being swept up. <laughs> <laughs> like, are they alcoholic? Are we hungover? Uh, if you choose. <laughs> <laughs> like, coming out of the room. Oh, yeah. and, like, you know, like, just that you can tell I slept hard. Mm. And I'm, like, looking out at the spread. I look at you, and I go, is any of that real? Uh, and she's like, yeah. Yeah, it's too damn early to do illusions. What do you think I am? <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen you in the morning. <laughs> uh, just to let you know, this is my actual morning face. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm too dang lazy. <laughs> I mean, Under it's not a bad morning face. Uh, Underwater, you. is it possible to have bedhead? Of course. After and you have it, perpetual bedhead. It is always bedhead yeah. underwater. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like she wears just, it like a pro. Morning. <laughs> yep. She's like uh, pulling out wildlife from her bangs. <laughs> <laughs> Desperate need of coffee. Yeah. <clears throat> Chompy comes up and he's got a juice box in his hand. <laughs> in his mouth. <laughs> he's chewing on it. Chompy the shark. Uh, yeah, Tomorrow they force me into a shark. Do you want to try I don't to mind that. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> what happened? I said, do you want to try to take that from him? Because I'm not so sure I do. <laughs> he turns around and looks, ah. <laughs> I've got to get a stuffed Sorry. animal of a, so of a shark now. Please. <laughs> I have one. I have an Ikea shark somewhere. Oh, that is have awesome. Have you yeah, seen the Ikea great. sharks? They're so cute. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have not. But you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to use I'm going to use Lockjaw <laughs> <laughs> for now. And just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got his Capri Sun juice box. It's alcoholic. He's like, he's having Capri a is like the shark version of catnip. <laughs> and stay away from it. It's like, okay. And uh, uh, Kaya, your mom comes out. Technically, Effie, your your mom also uh, mm. comes out and it's like, oh, girls, gives you guys a hug and. Looks over. Sue Ann. Um, uh, what's your character's name again? Sue Ann. Hi, Sue Ann. Uh, She's like, who's that Ann girl? I got, I got it all written down. Yeah. <laughs> so, Tamara. And she, you know, not too close yet. Only just met you yesterday, but you know. Like, <laughs> Walked away. It's like a puppy. She's like, I got a heck of a <laughs> yeah. Um, she's still royalty, so you know, she's loving, but you know, not quite there yet. Plus, you know, the way that she caught you yesterday with um mm. Kaya's ex fiance. Hey. <laughs> you were way too good at that. <laughs> like, y'all owe me. <laughs> Um, so you guys are, uh, I don't, yeah, she, she basically says, so listen, um, there's a lot of cleanup to do, uh, including vases and things like that, that were knocked over by, uh, Kaya and her, uh, <clears throat> friend <laughs> in that, mm. that very explicit dance. <laughs> so all three of you get out. <laughs> Yes, mother. But love you. See you later. <laughs> Bye, and girl. I'm going quickly before I'm asked to help. <laughs> yeah, that's a mood. <laughs> Peace later. Uh, oh. See, that's something that guys would never be asked. Boys in the family, just okay. You guys go out and play. Girls, you want to help me clean up? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I've got a sister. I know how unfair that is. Not that I helped. I got the hell out of time. I, I took advantage of my privilege. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I'd have done the same thing. <laughs> Okay, so where in general do you guys want to go and hang out? <laughs> I'm all for hanging out at the library. Maybe we should go to a dive bar. <laughs> what time Tomorrow is it? I, I, laugh. I love you guys. <laughs> Tomorrow's like, I'm let's go to the bar. <laughs> I was joking. Like there, there are probably better options for where to go to hang out, but I couldn't resist that joke. <laughs> Um, oh, because it's underwater. Yes. Ah, just got it. Yep. <laughs> just got it. just. <laughs> it's okay, me too. Um, I mean, it's five o'clock somewhere. 
Yeah, but it's like just morning for us, and I'm and yeah. like we can't we can't go to a bar that would be trashy. Someone might get it on camera. No, right. It'll probably be uh, Tamara. Tamara's <laughs> really making sure yeah. there's space in her phone. <laughs> <laughs> Upload to the cloud. Right. Upload to the cloud. Free up some space. Yes, we're good. <laughs> a good early morning activity for an upstanding young citizen. Tamara's <laughs> like, let's go for a jog. Come on. Oh, seriously, physical yes. activity. Um, yes, I w- maybe we go for a swim. I don't know if we can really jog down I here. Like to say that that would work after. Yeah, like, do let's do it. Put some weights on, and <laughs> so we we'll go to the coral gardens, and we'll have a swim and do a couple laps. That sounds like a good idea. I hear there are a lot of rocks there. Yeah, let's do it. One hundred percent, reading a book and watching, like. <laughs> Not at all participating. <laughs> nice. um, Tamara has way too much energy. She's like, do, 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 do. <laughs> no more she's, coffee for you. She, I she get does into a lap. It. She does a lap. She turns uh, one of um, Effie's pages, does another lap, turns the page again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your timing is really good. <laughs> <laughs> and um, while you're out there, you see somebody else running. Um, a, a little girl with a, a really cool bracelet and a um, <laughs> an awesome jacket that she didn't have before <laughs> last time you saw her. Uh-oh. There also seemed to be another person <laughs> chasing her, shop owner, Lady Cassandra from the <laughs> from the, I don't know, the, the jackets and wigs store. I don't know. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Tamara uh-huh. like slides off the deck to Effie and she's like um how much you want to bet <laughs> <laughs> I got 10 on the child <laughs> all right all right I don't know that that, that that old lady there she looks as if she's got some miles on her I'm thinking she's more smooth than we think so 20 down <laughs> can I telekinesis and maybe like trip the shop owner without oh, her knowing so rude but yes you can <laughs> um okay, so she starts Tomorrow swimming gives and... her the stink eye <laughs> she, <laughs> really? she starts swimming and all of a sudden it's like she just her nose just kind of boom oh what the heck did i just swim into she kind of <laughs> not there oh my booger <laughs> anyway <laughs> and she starts trying to swim some more but oh man Little girl got away. <laughs> go, kid, go. <laughs> it got away. Um, Tara hands over the 20. She's like, you cheated. <laughs> <laughs> you have no proof. <laughs> um, I have once again missed the happenings with the little girl because I got really into my laps. <laughs> this little girl doesn't exist. going to make that a running joke that I just don't believe she exists. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right. So um, that's just sick. I love it. <laughs> Chompy's going with you. <laughs> I've, I've got Chompy in my arms. I'm petting Chompy. Nice. <laughs> um, he licks your face and it's like, who cares? Do sharks even have tongues? This shark has a tongue. And, um, Wait, is Chompy like a cool 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 shark cool. though? Huh? Is he like Jeff the shark? Like when yes, he's exactly. Oh, you know Jeff the land shark. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff the shark. Love him. <laughs> you should see some of the reviews I do for Kelly Thompson's um um what do you call her West Coast Avengers books because mm-hmm. I actually have Jeff appear in the final issue and it's really awesome. I have a conversation <laughs> with Jeff. Um, That's awesome. That's yeah. So um, what have you? You guys um, yeah, you guys are doing your thing and whatnot, and um. What was it? You're, uh, oh, you're supposed to get, you have, uh, Sue Ann, um, Tamara, you still have some seaweed to collect from the old sea witch because you got mm-hmm. some of her, I don't know, a, a, a bottle of the old bubbly that she was looking for. It's supposed to be some <clears throat> magical brewing potion. It says, Tamara Shana, is uh, you know, actually, you're from now. She wanted champagne, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so she wanted to try champagne and you smuggled that champagne mm-hmm. for, yeah. One bottle just to taste, and mm-hmm. you're gonna try and you know see if you can get her addicted to that bubbly. So that sounds like so tomorrow. <laughs> She's like, "Come on, girls, I have a delivery. Let's go." Okay, I guess we're doing that now. 
Does this and I'm like coming off of a lap and following you. <laughs> <laughs> Does make you a So all right with this. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, listen, I'm going to teach you guys the way of the underground under the sea. <laughs> you have somebody <laughs> paying you in seaweed. <laughs> yeah. so I'm renegotiating my terms, girls, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you got backup if you need it. Yeah. Exactly. Let's go. Let's handle this. So she saunters on out to the sea, the sea witch's uh, magic cottage, and she's like her wrapping giant her knuckles. On shell. Yeah, <laughs> like she's just looking around at all this with a fair amount of amazement. <laughs> she's writing those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kaya, uh, I would imagine you often go out with Effie once in a while to visit the nomad tribes. Probably. Sure. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. So uh, you guys get out there. You see the, the conch shell. It's a little dirty. Every so often there's some nurse sharks that go up there to start looking. Chompy goes up and just, you know, starts, you know, playing with the nurse sharks. Like, oh, you're so cute. Get out of here, kid. You bother me. And um, <laughs> inside is Zeba, the sea witch. And visiting, uh, who, who's not usually there, is her daughter, you got a name already, right? Cat. No, I don't got a name. Fat head. She was so excited, so into the story. <laughs> Her daughter. <laughs> You're naming blah, 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 until you say otherwise. <laughs> My character is a dude, actually. <laughs> oh, oh the, that's the, right. I remember um, that now. I did, I, I did forget about that. I did forget about that. Okay, so, so. Uh, her son, son of a sea witch, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, right? Oh, nice. I'll, I'll figure out the name now. <laughs> I feel like that's an underwater insult, son of a sea witch, right? <laughs> no, that works. That works at the same time. It's more like a curse than anything else because nobody messes with the sea witch okay. or the sea witch's progeny. <clears throat> What's your boy's name, cat? Uh, I don't know. Someone choose for me. <laughs> His name's Derek. <laughs> I kind of like. <laughs> I'm down with Derek. Let's go. Yep. Let, let's do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, really, because like. I like Derek. Derek for MVP. It's, it's a Disney prince name. <laughs> <laughs> That's very fair. <laughs> Bringing in the Disney references. <laughs> Is there really somebody named Derek in the Disney world? Yes, Prince Derek. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, wasn't that, um, no, that, that was the Swan Princess. I don't think that was Disney, but it was like one of those animated off Disney movies that was almost Disney. Yeah. You the off di kid. Can you be off Disney? You can be off Broadway. Can you be off Disney? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that called like, I don't know. Like whatever company actually made the yeah. film probably, but I don't know what it was. The, the guys yeah, who made like Madagascar and stuff. <laughs> so you got the two princesses and then you got Derek. <laughs> Prince Derek. <laughs> yes. Derek the derelict. <laughs> yes. Yes. I knew I wasn't crazy. There was a movie with the Prince Derek. The Swan yes. Princess. I have no clue how you got that. Which wait, which prince? What what? No. Oh yeah, you're right. It, it was Eric, Swan. not Derek. <laughs> It's the swan. It I knew something. No, my awesome. spouse walked in and thought I was talking about the little mermaid. <laughs> this is a very strange conversation, but I'm okay with it. Okay, you're right. <laughs> anyway, have you found a name? Oh, yeah, you're Derek. So, we've got... Um, <clears throat> Sorry. This is a great start. Tamara, Eph uh, Ephra uh, Mycenae, Kaya Mycenae, Mycenae um, Kaya uh, of House Dorma, and Derek. <laughs> See, it works. All right. Yeah. yeah I mean, like, you could go with fun. Darius if you wanted something a little bit, like, more might be a and vampire. Darius? Like, if you add I-U-S to the end of anything, it makes it sound like a hundred times more Roman. I could do that. You mean I gotta probably, change this thing? It's probably better than Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Derek. Kind of like Derek. Derek is pretty great. Derek is pretty great. Right? It is. 
Should, I, should we keep it as Derek? Yes. yes. It's Derek. Okay. Bill is Derek. Oh, that head. <laughs> final. We'll keep it Derek. Final. All right. Final. Okay. For sure. Final answer. Yeah. Final. Uh, Derek. I'm not changing it. Just in case, I'm not changing it. No, I got I both names there. That. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're good. We'll leave it. Uh, Derek, okay. master of stabs. <laughs> master of stabs. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm okay. gonna hang back and just like keep an eye on everything that's going on like a paranoid kind of person because I know they're not looking <laughs> I know they're not watching our backs that's very fair <clears throat> a puffer fish bumps into you you're like what oh no you don't no no no! I challenge you to a duel no powers no puffing <laughs> <laughs> bring it on <laughs> she's just chasing random sea life flow <laughs> <laughs> I see you looking at me. <laughs> Get a bunch of shark in the nose and make friends. <laughs> <laughs> the art of candly is not lost upon thee, I see. <laughs> One of the <laughs> early lines from the book, Dune. I'm sure everybody here has read that. So um, what happens? You got... Um... <laughs> wow. <laughs> so what do you guys do? Um, yeah. Zeba the sea witch is there and she's like, oh, you got my bubbly. I always wanted to try this stuff. <laughs> pop the top <laughs> oh this stuff is good this is better than capri sun <laughs> she's a little, little paper over so it doesn't start flying everywhere and she's like oh yeah this is good let me go get your seaweed right now i got some uh some... like no no hold up girl no oh, wait, 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 wait. oh <laughs> negotiation the the the, 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 the deal was for some seaweed derek Der darius whatever the hell you did go get oh, me seaweed <laughs> But Zebby, baby, baby, you know how good I am to you, and you want more of that bu bubbly, don't you? Yeah, it's pretty good. And I've always got you what you want. You don't want me to go to your competition, you know, Mr. Oh, 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 hold on, I've got competition? Uh, yeah. Uh, let me do this right. Mm, I've got competition. <laughs> <laughs> Zebby, you that. always have competition, but I'm your girl, so I stick by your side like a prong. So uh -huh. all I'm asking is that we got to look at that gold. She scratches mm. her beard, <laughs> which is almost <laughs> as magnificent as mine. <laughs> She's like, hmm, I'm actually more interested in this competition. Mm, I'll can get you some information on him, but that's going to cost you. Hey, huh? So it's whittling down. <laughs> that's on Kaya's side, isn't it? Yes, sorry. I didn't realize that you guys could hear that. I'm gonna mute myself real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's moving the freaking mink vases and all that stuff. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know what the hell they are. He's got like pulling the macasse out the boxes. Oh my bad. <laughs> so um um yeah, she's like, I want to know about this competition. Uh, it's a guy, huh? All right, that, that's half. I've already eliminated half the population. We're getting there. We're getting there. But okay, I will pay you good gold for that. As far as this, it's bubbly. Yeah, it's, um, it's worth it. What do you say I'll give you three pieces of silver? Mm, no, no, no. I'm sorry, Zabby. See, because I've got uh, five cases. And unless you give me a good price, I'm going to have to go up to him. And then you know how the Sabri, Capri, or whatever the market is. That thing is going down. Hmm. I mean, you uh, want to be the girl in charge, don't you? I am the woman in charge. So you're going to go and bring this to my competition. Hmm. Okay, fine. And she turns around, she looks, and she goes over to the, the conch shell window. There's a conch shell window. Just go with it. <laughs> and she starts weaving a little spell. Effie, you look at it and doing a little spell craft, and you're like, yeah, it doesn't look harmful. I, I think this will be okay. Mm-hmm. Then again, I'm also a novice mage, so we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> the worst that can happen. Wait, how, like, like the conjuration or like what jurisdiction of magic it is? Like, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and she's just straight up. You're just looking at this like, I'm halfway positive she's not actually summoning set, which is disappointing, <laughs> but at least I can say that. <laughs> That's fair. 
and suddenly this this shadow comes upon the the, the shell. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's and and it, it wafts over and it moves to the side, and then you see it outside the front door. She's like, "I've got a visitor for you," and this big five pointed shadow just comes oh. down. And it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And it's about this big, and it's a little tiny starfish. And it comes over, <laughs> and it starts hanging over top of your left shoulder. And, it's, and she says, this is my ultra-dangerous spy. I'll see your competition, young Tamara, and I'll destroy him. So you think on that. But I'm willing to give you five silver pieces. No more. Uh, and you're you know willing... that three was actually pretty good. <laughs> three was pretty darn good. Five is more than fair for this bottle. If you got a case, she'll talk to you about a case. <laughs> <laughs> Megan already likes to see which. <laughs> Tara's like, I got five cases. I want two gold. Hmm. Five cases, two gold? How many are in a case? About twelve. Twelve, huh? Hmm. Can I use my emotions to make her friendly, the sea witch? You could try. Remember, she's a masterclass mage of some sort. Or at least really oh. good with alchemy. I don't know. Who knows? You can give it a shot, but if you get noticed. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Actually, it's underwater. She'll so be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> Also, keep in mind, uh, Tamara does have light manipulation. So, And it is a shadow creature, so she's not. <laughs> no, it's a little starfish. It's a real oh, it's little a star star, it's like a little baby starfish. And it's going to hang oh. over your left shoulder. And it will report back to her anything that you do or anywhere you go. That's right. That's even better. I know. <laughs> starfish, baby starfish. And you happen to control animals. I'm just saying. <laughs> this <trip. laughs> um cat uh, uh, um, since you're so good at it you have to think of the name of the starfish hey it's your mom <laughs> <laughs> name for it more names actually she she didn't even think of the name so whatever you guys want to choose for the name you guys can name the starfish because she's just not you know she's more about the control than the communication you're more about the communication than the control so so she says, okay, I'll pay you your five gold for your 60 bottles of bubbly. <laughs> I like this stuff. Mm. Ooh, and, and make sure you give me another bag of rubber bands to put the, the seaweed paper over top so the stuff doesn't just kind of psh, go all over the place. Girl, I'm going to give you three bags because Ooh. we're tight like that. <laughs> <laughs> I always liked you, Tamara. <laughs> okay. And uh, I get... I get to keep the starfish, you know? Cause... Oh, yes. She's going to watch you in case you ever go to this competition of which you speak. Now, I, I'm cool with that because I know you can trust me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that I can trust the, the starfish. I don't have a name for it. <laughs> she leans over. She goes, your, your name's Moggle. Don't worry. I got you. <laughs> I love it. Model the starfish. Yeah. <laughs> and she just like reaches over and she feeds it some seaweed. And she's like, here you go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice. Okay. And <clears throat> with that said, she says, so. I'm going to need other ingredients at some point. I'm going to need something called Eye of Newt. I heard that that's pretty big with the witches on the sea world. Also, this wing of bat. I, I, I don't know. I read this this Macbeth thing. Some really weird spell book. It's it's, it's strangest thing. Uh, <laughs> double, double, and toil and trouble. <laughs> Wing of Bat, I can get you that sale. I knew it's going to be a little bit different. I might need some danger pay for that one. Oh, the, these these things are giant, huh? And dangerous. Are they, fire, are they the fire breathing type? I heard that they're fire breathing salamander types. Yes, relation? actually, they 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 um spew out liquid uh, metal. You know, feed it <laughs> liquid metal. It's it's terrifying. No. It sounds terrifying. Liquid yeah. metal. It's they're. Hard, huh? Yeah, they're they're seventy feet tall, and they have uh, <laughs> they have uh, actually four eyes. That's why they're so valuable. 
You know, yeah. eventually you're gonna have to give her these eyes. They're gonna be like that small. You're talking about like seventy feet tall beast with little tiny eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they had to shrink them in order to carry them. Yeah, yeah, and it has like eight thousand of them. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so you just have to kill one of them. And oh, psh, I thought they were regular, like two eyed creatures. You got to kill like 40 of them. Go, now you just have to kill one and you'll have me a whole basket. Okay, cool. One gold each. I said, that works. That works. <laughs> no, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I want the eyes of Newt and the wings of Bat. And yes, like I'm also going to need chocolate covered peanuts. I heard, <laughs> I heard thing. It's for a spell. It's for a spell. Don't, it's for a special potion. Got to Tomorrow be arches her eyebrow is like, uh, I haven't heard about any magic requesting chocolate cover or peanuts, but you do you, boo. That's you do you. They're, they're like the Goobers. <laughs> I'm not going to anything about the peanuts. <laughs> Goobers would be important because they got the plastic over top of them. I heard you can get them in a place called a movie theater. I've heard of that hall of terrors. I have. Oh, yes. Yeah, sure. uh, yes. Danger pay. Heard- <laughs> Danger pay attention. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, also, it, um, also, uh, I'm not sure how this is going to happen, but perhaps a DVD player of the Blu-ray variety that would be interesting. I'm going to need some movies. I heard there's this P.S. I love you flick. I really got to see this. Uh, yeah. So I, you also need enough. to see the Princess yeah. Bride. Princess Bride. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. Okay. What's yeah. that one about? I don't know. The, the P.S. I love you is apparently about communing with the dead. So. It's my wife's favorite movie. That's what came to my mind. So anyway, <laughs> favorite book, favorite movie. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. So she wants all this stuff and you're going to get her this stuff. Of course. <clears throat> She's, of course. Tamara's just, you know, logging in in her phone going, anything else you need, girl? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I heard that there's this thing called a Kamoyo bead. Kamoyo bead. Hmm. Do you hmm. think you could get me a... Kamoyo bead? I'm thinking I can put it on the list. Do you know what a Kamoyo bead is? No. The, right sure. <laughs> oh, the only one who would know is Sue Ann. It's uh, one of the beads from the, um, uh, they, they showed in the, the uh, Black Panther movie. The Black Panther. On the, oh, yeah, man. on the, the oh. list, and it does all sorts of things, yeah. Oh, I've I got to admit, I probably didn't pay attention enough. <laughs> that would be worth 50 karma. What a shame. Anyway, so do you think it's possible to find me a Kamoyo bead? Mm, mm, girl, Wakanda. Mm, that's going to be hard. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not looking to get myself killed. <laughs> <laughs> if it's too dangerous for you, so be it. Just enough. Yeah, it, it's too dangerous. I'm yes, it is. Too much danger. Too much danger. Too dangerous for us. Too much danger. She's thinking, you know, she's got her, what support she has can't breathe there. <laughs> so she's going to have to go there alone. And these people have technology up the butt. <laughs> so she's like, <laughs> Um, I, I'm greedy, but I ain't stupid. <laughs> <laughs> she right. heard people get tattoos on their face, and her face is way too pretty for that. <laughs> <laughs> when you do bad things, kapow, branded. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. So, um, not a big deal, not a big deal. She says, okay. Um, also, would you mind taking my son for a tour? He's fairly new to Atlantis. Uh, if you guys are going to the city or something, it, uh, it could be fun for him and a learning experience. I got to see your son first. <laughs> yeah, right pretty- the corner <laughs> playing Candy Crush. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, if you narc on us. <laughs> Oh no, that's what. And yet you're not worried about the starfish that is actually (laughs) there for our king. (laughs) She can negotiate with the starfish. Remember, animal speech. (laughs) Wait, you can't negotiate with the boy. (laughs) I know boys are drama. (laughs) We've seen. (laughs) All right, let's let's see this son of yours. Does he have any? Skills, um, interests. Does he like to read? <laughs> I'm gonna mute uh-huh. myself. 
You can turn into a rock. <laughs> you can turn into a rock. No, that's talent right there. <laughs> hey, you can sit on him while you read. Can you hear anything when you're a rock? Sure. <laughs> yeah. No, that's useful. That's actually really useful. Yeah, that, is, awesome. that is very useful. Yes, you can come with Don't us. Talk to yes. Okay. <laughs> What's your name again? I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't actually know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get the hang of this. <laughs> it's okay. We'll show you what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Do any of us look like we know what we're doing? No, <laughs> really. No. 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 Right in. Kaya isn't self-aware <laughs> enough to know that. <laughs> right. <clears throat> All right. Um, Tomorrow's like, so you'll do. You're fabulous. Let's go. <laughs> I'm imagining like a, one of us on one side, one on the other, and the other like pushing from behind, just like mm -hmm. dragging him out of this building. One hundred percent. My candy crush, no. <laughs> <laughs> so Tara leans over and she's like, "Uh, so what level are you?" What? Uh, candy crush. I don't know what, what? does that. Let's just say that. <laughs> no, I'll be a level 30 because I that's probably where I'd get if I played. <laughs> Damn, Candy Crush Pro. <laughs> Damn. I'm stuck on level five. <laughs> I've played Candyland with my kids. <laughs> oh, I remember that game. That game was my childhood. They have the really? uh, Christmas version of Toys R Us for yeah, sorry, really? Megan. Toys R Us up here. Yeah, it's only three forty eight. <laughs> Three dollars forty eight cents for the uh, Christmas version. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I know. Beautiful. Back to the game. So <laughs> <laughs> down here, you guys have fishes are us, seashells are us, <laughs> Something like that. Um, okay. So you guys are out chilling, and okay. you see, I don't know, you're swimming around, you're chilling, you're hanging out, and um, you know what? No, nah, let's have some real fun with this. You guys are out, and um, <clears throat> uh, you're, you're showing them around Atlantis in general, the, the little swimming pads and all that stuff. And um, you don't really know what to what to do with a, a guy. You can't really take him shopping. He doesn't know what to do or anything like that. But we can absolutely take him shopping. Oh, yeah. okay. Where do you take him shopping? <laughs> oh, okay. He's holding eggs. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Oh, he's but definitely like, not in the latest fashions. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, we got to fix that. We definitely <clears throat> have to. Okay. He actually looks like one of the barbarian tribes, which is really weird. <laughs> so, like, where did you get this from? And I'm, like, gesturing to the outfit he is in. <laughs> Tomorrow's like, I like it. I don't know what your people's problems are. <laughs> Getting kind of a homeless vibe thing going on <laughs> I we should fix that. what do you expect <laughs> <laughs> nomad and show. homeless are not the same thing if you say that in front of someone who is a nomad you are going to cause an international incident but it's not <laughs> <laughs> so like and i'm gonna like gesture around to the people that are walking in the vicinity that we are and i'm like pick one of the outfits around here, like something that you see somebody wearing that you would like to wear something like. Like, give me a color. Give me, like, a general vibe that you want to go for and stuff. Oh, uh, let's go with green. Green is good. Green yeah. is good. <clears throat> like an army green color. Green is good. Okay. Green is good. Yeah. Cat, can't Let's remember it's lonely being green. I can. <laughs> okay. So when you shape shift, that doesn't include clothes, right? It's just you turn into an object or a person or a thing. Yeah. I think, okay. yeah. Just checking. Yeah. Stop them. <clears throat> so you guys are chilling out, doing a little shopping, dressing them up. And he's like, this is actually surprisingly fun. It's so much cooler than sitting and waiting for my aunt to try on, or my, my mom to try on things because that's boring. <laughs> And just leave a butt print in the big red seat. 
<laughs> yes, I've had to do that plenty of times. So <laughs> I speak from experience. Okay, what does Effie find attractive in men's fashion? <laughs> because Kaya's going to dress him like that on purpose just to mess with you. <laughs> oh, for sure. Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Probably like the complete opposite of, of how Effie looks. So if Effie is like a uh, li library, I guess. She's like, I don't know. What is what is Atlantean fashion? I forget. A bunch of different kinds of different styles. Plus it depends on the elegance level, the social status and things like that. Vibrant colors, I would assume. Um, That's, yeah, yeah, for the really floral type designs for the mm -hmm. royal stuff. Yeah, like, look yeah. at me, look at me. So you'd be you'd be dressed as a a living ornament basically. You'd be right. classy. royalty. Yeah. So we're looking for like the crunchiest thing possible that's yeah. still socially acceptable. Yeah, as punk <laughs> like, rock as we can get without being punk rock. Okay, punk like something out of a K-pop video. Works. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, let's go with that. Mara's bringing out things with spikes on them. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, let's go metal. <laughs> so the hair, are you attached to that or can we go orange mohawk? <laughs> purple, purple mohawk. It's got to be purple yes. mohawk. Okay. Purple. <clears throat> Interesting. At what point are Mara's you going to stop go. us? <laughs> Derek. Please. <laughs> Please stop them. They don't have an off switch. <laughs> Whatever they want. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Oh, no. We'll just have yeah. who addicted to my video games and I'm not paying attention to anything. <laughs> oh my god, alright. Like, I'll be like Groot with his little gaming system where he's paying attention to no one. Nice. <laughs> That's gonna be me. Nice. Mara am... snatches up the gaming system. She's like, what level are you on? Click. <laughs> so she turns into a giant freaking sea monster. <laughs> <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> Tomorrow runs away giggling. <laughs> and that's where the pee comes from. <laughs> oh my god. Pretty much. <laughs> All right. So while you guys are hanging out and having fun and bringing this poor kid over here and over here and all these different places, um, boom! Smack dab right into the little girl again. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> she, oh, so, so, uh, so, Kaya, you need to think about what you're doing so that you don't see this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm picking right. a fight with some guy. <laughs> hey, you. Did you just take the last uh, bucket of fries? Oh, that's your ass. <laughs> <laughs> More or less. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you guys are walking, you know, by the food court and whatnot, and all of a sudden, Boom! With a big old bucket of, I don't know, fish of the sea, <laughs> tuna, <laughs> like a like the it's it's the tuna bucket instead of the the chicken bucket. She got the tuna bucket. <laughs> she, she just boom, <laughs> one fish in her mouth. Like <laughs> if a if a big guy with a big belly and an apron, greasy as hell, comes running by looking for me, you didn't see me. And just <laughs> keeps on running. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I, like I feel like we should kid. do something about oh, this. And on the way, nice mohawk. <laughs> 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 so here comes the big dude. Her. <laughs> he looks like he's running, even though he's supposed to be swimming. Her. <laughs> he's got the 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 fish net. <laughs> it's like a, it's like an actual fisherman's net over top of his head. <laughs> it's trailing behind him. There's actual starfish and stuff like that in there. The the little starfish. Um. Um. I don't know. Messing Muggle. Up names. Muggle. Muggle. <laughs> Muggle is all like you know. Mm. <laughs> There's a dolphin stuck in there. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> He's running by. I'll get you, you little thief. Give me back my bucket and my tuna. Just watching this happen. I'm so uh, Tamara, Tamara creates a, an image of the girl in the other direction, running oh. away. And, and Tamara's like, I, I think that's who you're looking for. <laughs> She, she totally buys it. 
hook, line, and sinker, he buys it. <laughs> he starts going the other way. Oh, I'll see you there. Starts running over there. I'm like, the more often this happens, Throwing his dish more. rag. <laughs> Doesn't go very far because underwater. He tries. He catches it as it's falling. Tries to throw it again. He's back to playing hacky sack with himself. I'll get you. <laughs> So, um, yeah, the more often this happens, the more I OOC Lee. Just really want that little girl to become a master thief. I believe in her. <laughs> she's got this. She's, she's yeah, got the training. training. <laughs> training. <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to find that kid and make sure that we can train her more, but I still don't believe she's real, so I'm not pushing for it. At one point, the little kid's gonna be running, and Effie's gonna be on her back like Master Yoda. <laughs> <doing> <laughs> Flips and, <laughs> and putting weird stolen objects on top of each other. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to steal that building. It just can't be done. <laughs> do, or do, 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 not. Not. <laughs> steal or do or do not. Steal or steal not. Yeah. <laughs> I can't fit in my pockets. Look at my little purse. <laughs> Jud <laughs> judge it by its size, do you? <laughs> and that's when she starts teaching her how to do, like, transmutation magic. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a portal of holding. <laughs> a little bag of holding. Stuff the whole holding. Charlie to the side just feeding her, her little starfish companion and muscles now you know she's totally <laughs> <laughs> you know you're kind of cool for a mark <laughs> it's eating a little she's muscle like, marinara <laughs> she's like you have no idea stick with me <laughs> you, you try and you try and do the little trick thing where you like toss it to 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 uh um muggle but all of a sudden like Chompy will just come by out of nowhere. Like you didn't see him out of the corner of your eye. So I was like, Shum. <laughs> um, what do you call it? Okay. So um you guys are out and um off in the distance you see um Zora, the uh the 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 turtle sea turtle handler. She's out there trying to teach him to do tricks and whatnot, and she's got her own little uh, cod and she's tossing them some some seaweed and stuff. I'm like gonna that. grab Chompy real quick and just hold on to him. <laughs> Good plan. <laughs> he said they're trying to turn away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big gigantic sea turtle, that's not a shark. Pet owner instincts kicking in. <laughs> nice. So um she just looks down. Oh, hey, y'all. <laughs> Tomorrow's like, what's up? How's your day? <laughs> Not too bad. Hey, um, I'm all alone with my crew. You want to come on and go for a ride? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, girl. <laughs> In what world was the answer to that? Have been no, let's go. <laughs> what what hateful... <laughs> Alternate Earth is that. <laughs> Eric, let's go. Come on, man. It ain't Wakanda. She don't see the danger yet. <laughs> it's not every day that you get to ride a sea turtle. Let's go. This is true. <laughs> All right. So um, you guys get on. There's already like harnesses on there. And you get on. There's the the bridle and, and the, uh, no bits. But, you know, just, you know, wah -ha! it's like, okay, so listen. All you guys got to do. It's just kind of, you know, lean this way to, to turn it that way and lean that way to go that way and to go forward or to stop, just pull back and to go forward. Just kind of, you know, rub your foot forward on its side. So you guys get on and I want every, well, Sue Ann, you can make a, um, a power rank uh, communication and control roll mm -hmm. to, to succeed. You just need to get in the green. Everybody else, I want you guys to roll an agility to... Uh, to succeed the first time, you got to get in the yellow. Oh, good. Uh, Seventy-four. So that's uh, color. That's easily color green. It's Probably it? color okay. yellow, right? I think so. How do we tell? On your universal table that I gave you. Um. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could always go to the Discord. I posted them in there, in each one of the uh, thing, like in the Atlantis one. It's it's there. <laughs> I'm in the green. Seventy-four. <clears throat> <laughs> Not good enough. Um, really, green is only 70, uh, 74 is only green? I'm typical five. Oh, that's I, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm also typical five, and I um, rolled an 11. 
<laughs> so Ooh. you're in the white. Ooh. And uh, Kat, what do you got? I rolled an 83. And what's your agility? Agility. I can figure out where that went. Typical it's five. Eight. Not all of you guys. Typical five. And you rolled an 80? 83. Oh, 83. You're in the yellow. In the yellow, yeah. So when you look at the, the numbers over here, it goes to 83, and it's in the yellow under typical five. But boom, boom. Just check your X and Y axis. You're fine. Okay. And uh, boom. So you do not fall off. Yeah. <laughs> you're fine. You're controlling this thing. And she's like, cool. you are, you know, you and, and Tamra are both masters at this. Wow. Great beginner's luck. Um, Effie, you're kind of like, you know, I can't control it. <laughs> you're like holding on to it this way. And it's turning that way in big circle. You're like, I swear I'm going to get sick. <laughs> Your book goes flying out. You're like, no. <laughs> oh, no, my book. Come back. Uh, well, your telekinesis, you're bringing it back. Boom. Oh, yeah, that's fair. There we go. As for Kaya. <laughs> Yeah, you get thrown right off. <laughs> well, this is the second time I have ended up on my ass on the ground from a giant turtle. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's right. I remember the, the previous episode. I forgot about that. So your uh, your foot gets caught in the little stirrup, <laughs> and it's swimming, and you're in the back. You're you're holding on by one like, foot. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're reaching for your sword i swear to god <laughs> you start hitting it on the shell <laughs> oh, no i'd be like trying to cut myself loose i wouldn't hit an animal <laughs> okay I'm, okay you try to cut yourself loose but it's a rapier so you're trying to poke at it you accidentally poke unless the animal was a huge asshole <laughs> no no it just doesn't seem to notice i mean it's a shell you know yeah so it's just swimming around <laughs> you're just out there Effie! <laughs> Can I telekinesis her? <laughs> huh? I put her back on the turtle? Can I telekinesis? Uh, you know, it's a good time on your turtle right now. Sorry, you got to kind of hold on. and It's either your book or your sister. And uh, oh. I think oh, you no. and I both know what it's you're okay. choosing. I understand. <laughs> I <can't. I'll> <clears throat> She's only read that book six times. She hasn't, you know, worn it out yet. <laughs> So and Tamara um, try to help. She like try to maneuver her friend since she is in the yellow. <laughs> yeah, trying. absolutely. In fact, you can try and uh, control that animal too if you want. Try and convince. Do it I roll for it? Out. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, you're at amazing. You really can't miss. But for the sake of conversation, uh, seventy-seven. Okay, and your ability is amazing. Yeah. Yep. So Let seventy-seven. Me look it up again. Just to make sure. Please do. Because you're in the yellow if uh, it's amazing. Uh, do -do. Uh, you see, uh, animal is. Oh, no, animal is typical. Animal? animal. Oh, yeah, and, that's right. It was typical. Yeah. Amazing is image generation and remarkable is light gener uh, remarkable. So typical, typical. Yeah. You got 77, you said? Yep. So that's in the green. Just misses. Just misses by like four lousy points, but it's still a miss. Aww. So um, no, but but it still works. It, it slows the animal down. Kai is able to, you know, reach forward, ugh, grab her foot, <laughs> grab, her, grab her shin, grab her ankle. Grab her foot, grab the stirrup. Okay, I'm almost there. It starts reaching for the shell. It starts reaching, you know, fingers slipping on the shell, trying to grab that that saddle. And she just, oh, it just makes it. <laughs> Boom. Pulls herself up. <laughs> I believe I you. I am a turtle master. <laughs> <laughs> and go ahead and try and roll again there, Kaya. <laughs> it's she. Uh -oh. Um... Well, I'm in the green now, but that's not quite good enough. <laughs> not quite, but much better. The turtle starts spinning. This time when you're pulling on this side, it actually starts going that way. So Effie and... So I'm doing donuts without meaning. <laughs> We're doing donuts. Yeah. Like you're donuts. Both and, and around each other. You start making like a small typhoon <laughs> <laughs> underwater. It's like a whirlpool starting. All I'm right. just like shrieking <laughs> under my breath. <laughs> So she, um, Zora goes over and calms him down. It's like, you guys are actually doing really good. You two. I am so impressed with you two. Wow. Um, 
talking about uh Derek and, <laughs> and Tamra. Fucking <Like> Derek. <laughs> I love it. Tamara's having a conversation with her her turtle going, yeah, so how many years have you been in this profession? <laughs> so at this point, um, you see a bunch of the guards, like you guys are making like so much screaming in such a big scene <laughs> that a bunch of the Atlantean guards that are around, they actually come over and uh, they're going to start flirting with yous. You've got uh, three of the guards. They come over. There's uh, Zeril. Um, and there's, there's Bob, Zeril and Bob, there, there's a guy named Bob because it's in the water. Oh. <laughs> oh. That, was that was good. <laughs> and, and for, uh, for Derek, there's this hot chick called Bera. She's like, Hey. Nice or, or nice purple mohawk. <laughs> She's like, can I touch it? <laughs> Doesn't wait. Women don't actually wait uh, for permission. They ask permission, then they just kind of do it anyway. So yeah, she play with the hair and whatnot. And um, you guys are just kind of hanging out. Um, Bob's talking to Effie. How you doing? <laughs> Thank you for giving me Bob. <laughs> you get Bob. <laughs> and. Um, Bob. Uh, Tamara gets gets zero. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> so Tamara uh, just slides up the, beside Derek, and she starts going, "Um, I love your outfit." To the girl, <laughs> oh, get the heck out of town! Bob nice. suddenly starts to get the hint. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to play it off. <laughs> Not doing a great job at it. <laughs> <laughs> and um uh what do you call it um zero kind of looks at you kai and is like oh so um i heard about that thing with uh, with vain <laughs> just so you know none of us like him. <laughs> what i'm sorry i didn't hear that last bit just so you know, none of us like him. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, good. Right. I can absolutely see why. I've seen how he treats people. It's shameful, frankly. Yeah, like, uh, I hope you don't find this uh, insulting, but, you know, the epitome of privileged. I mean, no. Nah. <laughs> I mean, I don't get it, but it doesn't offend me. Yeah, cool, cool. So uh, what are you ladies doing out here? Chilling out on the turtles and whatnot. You know, there's like the edge and, you know, edge. There's like the drop off over there. This guy Nemo and his dad, they had, they had a whole bunch of trouble not too long ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, so, it's a butt. <laughs> so is the drop off particularly dangerous? You know, every so often you get a little bit of trouble. That's why they got a couple of us posted out here. But, you know, for the most part, nah, it's cool. It's, you know, hmm. it's usually okay. What, what kind of trouble usually comes from the drop-off? Every so often we wind up having some um, issues with, like, um, you know, some, some very rarely some humans come by. But every so often, you know, we wind up getting some of the challenges from the deep. You know, like, it's, 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 it's huge out there like it's an expanse you can't even see the bottom unless you actually go down there and that's really messed up you better bring light because it gets really you know oh, <laughs> you ever yeah. seen dory dory like she goes down there and it's like you know ah! <laughs> the anchor fish the scene mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's that like yeah a every, fun place every... to explore don't you guys guys think so <sighs> i mean if we had a good reason to go i would be totally all for going down there but like just going for the sake of going seems a bit risky for no reason yeah we do have the archaeologists who go down there so often but for the most part yeah i don't know they just be going down there say again why would the archaeologists be going down there? Oh, well, do you know that uh, humans actually know more about space than they know about the waters? And, uh, you know, we know a whole bunch, but there's actually some cool stuff down there, plus rare delicacy fishes and whatnot. And plus every so often, you never know. Just map out the area because things change so often. <laughs> we all open our mouths to ask the same question. <laughs> okay. Um, Sammy, you can't keep on making everybody the freaking MVP. It just completely detracts from it, all right? <laughs> um. <laughs> 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 
but anyway, so you guys, um, yeah, they're just talking like, you know, in general, like all the good stuff that could possibly happen down there. You know, there's there's a bunch of different creatures down there and whatnot. We heard these things called murlocs down there. Some people say they've met them, but, you know, it just seems too weird. So, you know, we don't know for sure. What about archaeologists? What do they find? Oh, you'd have to ask them. I don't know. I'm not an archaeologist. I'm a guard. That's a fair point. Every so often, every so often, we have some kind of an encounter with like uh, divers or or some kind of a human ship, but that's like really far and few between. So, uh, you, what do you do about them? How do you take care of them? Uh, wave our tridents threateningly at them. <laughs> bring our, <laughs> bring our. Um, <clears throat> What do you call it? Uh, I don't know. What kind of big fish would they use? I don't know. Some kind of a big a blue fish, a blue fin. Yes. We, we'll take our blue fins out there and be like, you know, y'all better get out of here. We will definitely jack you up. Sometimes we bring our, our subs out there ourselves and meet them and they get the hint real freaking quick. Yeah. Yeah. We don't, we don't, we broke no crap for them humans, them, them pink skins and all that. Ah! Ah! <laughs> um, pink skins. <laughs> Whatever. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Tamar kind of looks at us slyly going, hmm. Mm. <laughs> so what did you say we have these archaeologists again? <clears throat> oh, they're usually down at the, uh, the the university. I think have you never heard about this before. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I have at some point, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm most most of the time I spend in the library. <laughs> oh, it sounds like there's really cool digging stuff to be done down here. I think we should find <laughs> them and see if they need any help. I'm for it. Let's go. I what think do you think? Mago would like some of that fish, you know? Right, Mago? You want some of that fish? Want some of that fish, boy? <laughs> yes! <laughs> still on the phone. <laughs> What happened? Oh, you're still on the phone. Yeah, still addicted, not paying attention. <laughs> <clears throat> so, you guys want to go to the university? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Fun. Tamara <laughs> wants to go in the deep. She's like, this is like <laughs> probably the first time I've ever been excited to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, uh, you you go and you're you're hanging out down the hallways of the um, the the university and you come across the archaeology department after several people. No, it's that way. No, it's that way. No, it's that way. And eventually you get there. <laughs> and they um, what do you call it? The there there there's two archaeologists in there and they're they're writing up their their papers and whatnot. And you guys can walk in. Oh, hey, we don't usually get guests here. What's up? Hey, hi, how's it going? Um, you guys are archaeologists, right? Yeah, it's it's on the door. Like it said, we're on the street as you've been uh, investigating the drop off. Oh yeah, there's always so much cool stuff down there. Okay, actually there's not usually too much cool stuff down there. But when we do find stuff, it's usually pretty cool stuff. It's usually just an expanse of nothing. But yeah, every so often, you know, we find like uh, some buried treasure and whatnot, or some, you know, treasure that fell off of a ship or something. The humans are always, like, you know, they're litter bugs. What's the <clears> coolest <throat> thing you found? Coolest thing? Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't you remember the, uh, six years ago when we changed the currency? Yeah, that's how much gold <laughs> that we found. I'm just saying. Wow. Really? Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. <clears throat> every so often we find you know these old dinosaur. Um, fossils down there and whatnot and they're like perfectly preserved because i mean salt water hmm. what about like religious artifacts every so often we'll find something that washed up from um on the shore and whatnot the um uh temple of neptune you know not too far away so every so often we'll get some stuff from there and uh you know we're trying to figure out the humans without actually asking them because nothing good comes from talking to humans that's fair <laughs> agreed mara is slowly feeling somewhat insulted she's like you know i used to be human <laughs> <laughs> technically you were never human you just looked like them more she's still feeling human though <laughs> but you believed it you're specifically inhuman <laughs> <clears throat> so, so when's your next uh, archaeology dig well we 
actually scheduled for one tomorrow. Do you guys actually want to go? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that was quick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, come back here tomorrow at around, I don't know, when, when the, the reflections in the water from the sun look like this. That time. <laughs> so, like, in the Underdark, they tell what time it is based on this pillar that heats and cools throughout the day. Maybe we have something like that. Yeah, you could do that. They just put some fairy <clears throat> fire and yeah, like, on it, like, some kind of, like, in. yeah, it just, like, <clears throat> maybe, maybe, like, either lights up or, like, just the water changes colors or something. I know chemical. the name of the thing. Nubbin... Something yeah, an, an yeah. Nothing. It was it was outrageously long and had like two apostrophes in it. As typical for for drought speak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Nabinkanaz or something like that. Sound like Nabinkanaz, yeah. but with an a, an a n a something. So, yeah, yeah, I've always loved that thing. <clears throat> yeah, but... <laughs> it's a big rock. <laughs> Freaking like... cats looking at it like I could do that. <laughs> I could be that. <laughs> like looking over at Derek, like, do you have any idea what you just agreed to? <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so it could be the next day if you guys are cool with it. Yeah, sure. Yes. Cycle, and uh, <laughs> you guys show up. <laughs> so. <laughs> Tamara, being you know formerly human in her mind, she's got snorkeling gear. <laughs> she's got flippers on. Everyone's like, dude, seriously, I, like, is that some kind of like fish face? Is that what you guys are doing? Is that is that what, you're, you're flat out insulting us right now? Is that what you're doing? Tamara's this is what like, you think is, Atlanteans are. <laughs> Tamara's like, this is the latest fashion. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm gonna slap her with my flipper just because of that outfit. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to slap her with my slipper because of that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! <laughs> like abuse! <laughs> oh, man. The, uh, the the snorkel goes flying out your mouth. <laughs> yeah. And then I just take it away. <laughs> <laughs> she's reaching for a grabby hand. She's like, my snorkel! <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you, you quickly take the thing off. <laughs> huh? So I'm like just going to turn to the archaeologist and be like, what exactly is it that we're looking for? Oh, that's the thing. We never know. We're going to explore mm -hmm. this section right here and shows you the map. It's literally like empty space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks like you're looking at um, your watch or playing um, Age of Empires or something in the fog. And it's of beyond war. the fog of war. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you guys just go straight down. Boop. <laughs> so um, there is actually a little sub that you guys can take. This doesn't really need to be a sub, but you get the idea. You start going down. Um, um, uh, Tamara is pressed up against the window going, Ooh, so pretty. Yeah. Um, uh, Tamara has definitely never been that far down before. The others, possibly, uh, as far as Derek, uh, yes, you've probably gone down that far before. Just, you know, turn to a rock and just sink straight down. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> How fast is the sub going? Uh, the sub will go about, let's say, remarkable speed. Okay. So yeah, a little faster than you can magically swim. Okay. Um, and you guys go down, and you actually come across the land. Everybody's got a, a torch and uh, and a backup uh, torch just in case, because in the archaeologist world, one is uh, no two is one, and one is none. So you always have a backup. <clears throat> so Tara's got, got the backlit, but she's got a, like a little ball light beside her because you know light manipulation. So she's just. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> so disco ball. You're, you got a disco ball bioluminescence. Nice. Yeah. So um, you guys start looking around. It's like, okay, so listen, if you do find anything, uh, first tell us. And then here's these little brushes. You could start like, you know, be really careful because we don't want anything to break. I'm just saying it's, it's a thing. We all do it. Right. So um, <clears throat> it's not like on earth where you just blow the sand off. I heard that's what they do. They just sit there and go, would make the sand fall. <laughs> Do I have that wrong? I don't know. It's it's, it's what I read. It's something I read. <laughs> so, um, you guys start looking around, and uh, everybody can make an initiative uh, intuition roll for me. It scared me for a second there. <laughs> initiative roll for initiative. initiative. <laughs> My intuition is crap apparently because I got fifteen because it's a ten and a five. So I think that's fifteen. <laughs> So you get the gist. Um, find out what your initiative good. is. That's the I on your face rip, the I. And um, 
and then roll your dice, see what you get, and then go across to your. Uh, oh, you got Sue Ann. You got white. Yeah, yeah, because I'm even though my initiative is I. Sorry, I got to look at my chart again. <laughs> your intuition is. My intuition is do do do. Uh, normally intuition is incredible, but I only rolled a fifteen, right? So. Even at incredible, I'm still in the white. Okay, that happens. Megs, what'd you get? Uh, I'm still in the white. I was one point from being out of the white, but I am in the white. Okay. Uh, for now, one uh, Megs. I just realized we're going to call you either the Meg or Megalodon for this mission because I'm totally <laughs> fine with that. <laughs> um, I had a friend that called me Meg McMuffin once. Oh, I remember that, and you got <laughs> mad that I said it out loud during the game. <laughs> You're like, you weren't supposed to say it to everybody in the chat. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. So, um, but you Megan. just did, you, you just doxed yourself this time. So that's I did. <laughs> I did. I absolutely did, and I'm not sorry. But yeah, 45. 45 is the magic number. <laughs> uh, Samus, what'd you get? I got 40. I'm still in the white. Typical five. Not good. And uh, save us, Eric. <laughs> Your only hope. <laughs> What'd you get? I got 43. And what's your intuition? The I? Uh, it's typical five. And the white, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> so, there oh, is this big temple with this big fish face on it. And none of you see it because you're all facing <laughs> this way. And it's over there. And you're like, I see nothing. The equivalent of a that one. Right? And the archaeologists are behind you and they're just like... <laughs> to each and every one of you. And you're just... Uh, when you just <laughs> by the head and just... Oh, hey, look, I found something. <laughs> okay. So, so are we going to need to get out bigger brushes for this? <laughs> yeah, they're really interested in this. Like, oh, wow, this is cool, man. So they start, you know, checking it out and they're looking at it. And there's, it's, it looks like it's supposed to be this front face or this part of this old, um, I don't know, temple of some sort. It's like there's got this plaque on it and the, the, the fish symbols and whatnot. And what they're looking at this. look like? Is there anything that I would maybe recognize? From reading? Uh, your reason plus your occult lore. So plus one column shift to your reason. What's your reason? Uh, remarkable? Uh, yeah, Remarkable 28. So it's going to be under incredible. <clears throat> plus one column shift to that. Make a roll. Give me the color, Skittle. 42. That's a green. Numbers. Oh, okay, okay. It's good enough. Okay. You know that this is... Ancient Hebrew. Interesting. Okay. Close enough. You're not familiar with the language overly, but or you're not you're not fluent in the language, but mm. you know, stuff there. There's some stuff. I've seen there. it before, yeah. Absolutely. So you can point that out. They're like, oh, really? Isn't that what the Bible was written in? Okay, cool. Yeah, that Old Testament thing that was written in. Okay, interesting. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So um I'll spew some knowledge about uh jesus and christianity except that's new testament so oh that's, okay my bad <laughs> Epic no we're talking plagues and like sodom and gomorrah and yeah, like, this, like old school oh, there we go. god is yeah. an asshole Bible. they may say the same god, but this god is not that god <laughs> those are totally different people man <laughs> i don't religion so <laughs> not a worry not a worry um it's catholic school so you guys yeah me too i went i just didn't pay attention well, same mom. okay so one of them start okay none of them can figure out what the heck this thing is um so as you guys are down there doing what you're doing all of a sudden you start noticing sharks not chompy <laughs> Other sharks. In fact, Chumpy kind of the, the first reason because you guys are so focused on this thing and you failed so miserably in your intuition rolls that um uh it's not until Effie 
gets uh, chompy, starts like trying to dig into your armpit and whatnot. You're like, what are you doing? I, I put on deodorant this time. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you guys all start looking around and, and uh, swan. You start hearing like, you know, oh, this is bad from from um, Muggle. And you start looking around and there's there's like six six or six to ten sharks swimming around you guys. Mm-hmm. Tamara looks at Muggle. She's like, that's okay. Don't worry, Precious. Not this moment. She's like, hi, how's it going? <laughs> She's calling out to the shark. She's like, what's up? They have, a, you know what? Make a make a roll on your uh, power rank. Uh, forty two. I'm typical. So not white. White. Yeah, that's that's milk toast white. <laughs> that's milk toast white. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Darn it. So, you're not sure why they're not listening to you, but they're mm-hmm. not listening to you. You hear, yeah. um, you, you're, you're good enough that you're able to hear, um, uh, she say, wait, she say, wait, no eat yet. She say, wait, that's what you hear them saying. All of them. Uh, Tamara kind of uh, leans and she's quiet about it To Uh, she's like wiggling her fingers. Come on, come closer guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're saying something about she say wait to eat. I don't think they're friendly locals. <laughs> uh, so are they like trying to get behind us then? Because if it were me, that's what I would want to happen. Are they over like, us? Just... Or just watching. Say again. Are they over? Like they're they're swimming over us, or are they like behind us? Like Megan said. At this point, by the time you guys notice them, they're some of them are swimming at your like waist level but they're all over the place. There's a lot. And you're, that's why you're not sure exactly what the number is because a little bit of panic is setting in and uh, you just see a lot of them moving around. <clears throat> I'm going to quickly do a, a calm emotions on everybody. Oh. Okay, cool. Including uh, nobody, the sharks? Uh, doesn't work on the sharks. Sorry, you need animal empathy to do that. Okay. Yeah, sorry, you didn't take that one. Oh, fair. I'll get <laughs> so, it eventually. <laughs> I'm sure you will. So Tamara's uh, like slowly tuckle, tuckling Moggle somewhere safe within her backpack. She's like, uh, yeah, you hang out there, okay? With with the, the puree. Yeah, the good stuff. The tuna one. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to watch you, but make exception this time. <laughs> Stupid sea witch. <laughs> I don't get danger pay. You get danger pay. I don't get danger pay. <laughs> she goes in your little pocket. Um, oh, what was I going to say? The... Um, yeah, the sharks, they see they seem in general, as typical, hungry, curious. Uh, with the emotion control, uh, all of you just accept the calming that she washes over you guys, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody can have a, if you need it, a plus one column shift to your psyche to resist fear if it should come up. Um, you guys can all just remember that. That's, that's just for this particular um, encounter. So at this point, you see... Um, another shark coming in and there's somebody actually riding this shark and it's this chick. She's green skinned and whatnot. There you go. Um, if you put it in the, um, in the chat, so you guys remember to resist fear. Um, she comes down and she's got this long flowing, um, uh, I guess it would be like shark gray. You know what? It's seal skin, a seal skin uh, dress and whatnot. Oh yeah, she, she's sulky. No, oh, yeah, she hates you guys. <laughs> she wants you guys to hate her. Um, she My comes down. My friend plays sulky in a D game. No, so I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of seals. <laughs> <laughs> you, you what? That's valid. A... You you love seals? You said. No, I'm afraid of seals. Oh, you're afraid of seals? Oh, that's messed up. Wow. Like if I see a picture of a leopard seal, I get the same reaction most people get when they see a spider in real life. <laughs> Oh, I was so, asking if she was a sulky. So, oh, mm. gotcha. No, 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 she's not. So okay. when, um, so when Billy Ellish opens her mouth, you see a, a, a seal come out. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I actually <laughs> enjoy that spider video. All right, continue. That was great. <laughs> so, um, 
what do you call it? Yeah, she's, oh, okay. Come on in, girl. She's hearing about baby sharks and, and baby starfish. And, and, and That's literally what I was just thinking. Thank you. <laughs> what? Oh, baby shark. And <laughs> Empress Bagel wants to come in and hang out. Come on. Hi, Bagel. Thank you. Okay. Oh, thank you, Mark. Oh. No, I don't get a kiss. Dumb cat. And <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. She, she, you saw that. Sue Ann just looked for a weapon. <laughs> Instinctively looked for a weapon. I was like, where's my axe? <laughs> <laughs> Not even cool, Joel. Just straight up splitting you, you in half. Um, okay. So, um, what have you? This, this woman comes down and she's got this weird kind of silver crown on her head and she, looks down you can see it's like <laughs> it's not very good but she's looking down at uh at you all and she says what are you doing down here with my lovelies so hungry for you oh that didn't sound creepy at all lady <laughs> okay look we didn't realize we were in your yard we didn't think anybody lived down here no harm no foul <sighs> you're all mostly what are you all you're atlantean are you royal house no 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 they're they're not royalty yeah this isn't this isn't a thing i'm i'm just inhuman i don't even know what you are oh inhuman i'm, I'm inhuman we we royalty I don't even know what that is. with us I don't Trust even know what that is. You know, <laughs> you know, I can tell you all about them. Why don't you just let my friends go on their way? I think my friends are going to go on their way. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good way to get your sharks punched. I don't think you want that. You should just call them off and let us go. It's really in your you best interest. Dare yes. talk to Toka Phil, queen of sharks like this? Yeah. I don't care who you are, princess. You're I'm not in a my princess. kingdom now. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's <laughs> like I draw down. <laughs> get them. Okay. <laughs> the sharks kind of go. <laughs> you don't want to get into a fight. You probably shouldn't let me talk. <laughs> I was trying to be diplomatic, but the second you started talking. That right? was very <laughs> diplomatic. <laughs> Can I instill fear in the shark lady? Oh, roll. Well, I'm going to play with her hair just out of nowhere. I'm going to start playing with her hair. <laughs> the oh, shark lady. There, she gave me the kisses. I love her oh. again. <laughs> yes, I love you too. That's not good. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, what's, your, what's your power rank? Amazing 50? Yeah. Yeah, that's wicked. Uh, yeah, it is. And I rolled a 35. Oh, on amazing. So what color is that? Uh, oh, it's in the green. It's in the green. It is in the green. I can't yeah. see. You don't have to be so worried. The more powerful you are, the, the crappier you can roll. <laughs> the crappier you can get away with rolling. Okay. Doesn't quite work. Almost, but not quite. Um, she, she feels it. She's like, oh, oh. You're a witch. <laughs> <laughs> What's she gonna do about it, lady? <laughs> um, have her sharks eat you? Okay, everybody, roll <laughs> initiative. That means you take. So first off, you have to know what your intuition is. So if you have typical intuition, you don't get any pluses for what you're doing. But if you yeah. have, let's say, good intuition, which is plus one column shift to typical, then you have plus one to your roll. You're gonna take one d. And uh, and add whatever your bonus would be. So, uh, who has better than typical intuition? Tamara has incredible. I have okay, good so, intuition. So so Kaya, you get plus one uh, to whatever you roll. Um, Suan uh, with incredible. That's uh, typical one, two, three, four. You get plus four to whatever you roll. Higher okay. the better. So okay. add that. Um, Sammy. Typical five. Cool and cat. Uh, typical five also. Cool. So you guys get don't get any uh, bonuses to your roll. So you just literally roll your die. Roll Let high. Me know. Yeah, roll high. And tell me what you get. Okay, Bagel, those are The claws. young 10 total. Nice. Six. Uh, seven. Wait, seven. What, 
But are we roll, roll a d10. Roll, roll a d10. One, yeah, roll oh, one d10. Yep. What a four. Okay. Um, so Kaya goes first. Sue Ann, you got a four? Seven. A seven. So you go next. Sammy goes next. Me and the sharks go next, and then Cat goes last. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Megs, Megalodon, so, your turn. Uh, yeah, my uh, single target nullification. I'm I'm gonna like target this lady and like just come right at her. Like, damn the sharks, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do I have to roll to uh shut her down? Oh, the nullification. Yeah. You just, yeah, you just turn it on and it's between you and her. And let's see if she can resist it. She cannot resist it. <laughs> that is If she's using magic, it won't do anything to her, though. No, 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 not magic. It actually shuts her down. So her, her okay. control over the sharks now, gone. Oh, no. She was the thing stopping the sharks from attacking us, wasn't she? That was not the smartest thing I've ever done, but that was so Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're all gonna die. You're all gonna die. Um, <laughs> TPK, let's go. <laughs> Total party wipe. Total party kill. Yeah. Um, okay, so you you just shut off her power, and she's like, "What? I I can't hear my pretties." Uh, Sue Ann, your turn. Tamara is going to be strategic and use blinding light just to take away that sense from them. So they can't, they're just to stun them, actually. A stunning light. You know, I rolled a mass yeah. and actually, and what's the power rank? Uh, power rank on light manipulation is remarkable for her. Ah, that's what I thought. Okay, yeah, they don't stand a chance. That's just automatically all of them are blinded at this point. You see them all flipping around. Like actually doing somersaults and 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 barrel rolls, like a shark doing a barrel roll. What the heck is going on? <laughs> um, yeah, they're all really freaked out. You hear them saying, "What the fuck?" <laughs> they have no idea what's going on. What, whatever the f word is in in shark, that's what's coming out of their mouths right now. What? <laughs> um, Effie, I'd like to telekinesis and just bring her into like a chokehold and hold her hostage. Who oh, the um. The shark lady. The Queen of Sharks. Uh, yeah. took up I made this character up, man. You guys are just <laughs> aping her. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh, make your power rank. What's your power rank for telekinesis? Uh, da, da, da. I, it was, I have a thing for it. It's here somewhere. Uh, amazing 46. OP. Go ahead. Make your roll. Yeah. 42. Which is in the green. Okay, um, you get a grab on her. You you got a, a not not quite a lock, but you're you're like on her. Next round, you'll be able to hold her pretty fast. Um, force for now, choke. it's just not the best. Are oh, you going to try to force choke? Her? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You do not know the power of force. <laughs> I find your lack of face faith disturbing. <laughs> I, I find your lack of face rip disturbing. <laughs> so um um. Yeah, that can happen next round. Uh, this round, just too many sharks, too much distraction. Uh, the sharks don't get to go because, mm, but she does get to go. And she's freaked out and pissed off right now. And she's going to roll to stab you, Kaya, since you are forcing yourself upon her in this. How come bring it on? <laughs> uh So, so, oh, that's a that's a good hit. Um, okay, uh, what's your endurance? <clears throat> Incredible. Okay, make a roll against stun. That's the third from last thing up on top. <laughs> Periodic table element. Yeah. It's 59. Oh, you do not get stunned. Good job. You are stunless. Perfectly fine. Uh, Kat, your turn. I'm um, thinking of turning into a giant seaweed monster and entangling her up in all the seaweed. <laughs> okay. Um, 
So this is something that we've... Uh, what are your powers again? Uh, I have shape shift and body transformation. Okay. So you can literally use both of them. Uh, your shape shifting and body transformation. What are the power ranks in that order? <laughs> For some reason, I do not have them down. They disappeared. Which is an issue. Yeah, that's an issue. And not a comic book issue. That's a bad issue. <laughs> we we kind of need to know what those are. Okay, for yeah. now, though, um, in general, you yeah, you could turn into this big swamp thing <laughs> looking yeah. thing, this man thing. like, And um, you want to roll to – what's your strength? It's the S. How many things are under it for strength? Say again. For some reason, I have three different things under strength. It's not right. <laughs> yeah, I need to sort everything out, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to talk about that. Yeah. Um, okay, I don't know what your strength is. I don't know what to... Uh, I'll figure it out. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so you turn into a swamp monster, and you're doing... Seaweed monster. Yeah. And she's, what the hell is that yeah, thing? And she's trying to stab Megan. She's just like, what the hell? Yeah, it's not my strength. We're good. Okay, what's the strength? It says remarkable 26. Oh, yeah, you're super strong. Okay. Uh, you can lift practically a ton. Uh, in metric, that's, I don't know, a lot. <laughs> so um, go ahead and make a roll. Uh 2d10. Uh, I got 87. Under remarkable. That brings you in the yellow. That is a partial hold. Okay. Megan, you see that sh that uh, uh, Derek just turned into a seaweed monster and is grabbing mm -hmm. your person. Mm -hmm. Your duel. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I, I see where you're going with this. <laughs> I really do. But, like, I'm just going to, like, float here for a second and, like, just a beat of smugness. And I'm going to be like, all right, so uh, are we done here? Or oh, am I going to have to stab you? She took a fill. She's like, what is <coughs> what is <coughs> Yes so or no? Being... She's being force choked. She's being grabbed, and, and oh, you're right. there with your. Yeah, she's got a lot you of. Stuff can't going answer on. Me. <laughs> you can't answer me. <laughs> I'll pull back a bit so she can answer. You bitches is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get out of my kingdom! It's not even that big. <laughs> Just oh. go away. Leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tamara's like, but we're not done here yet. My suggestion no. is that you leave. <laughs> Tomorrow, come on. <coughs> Rude. <laughs> you started it. <laughs> no, this is my land. You, you it is her house. Me. We did come in here without permission. Like, she got a little nasty once we did, but, like, honestly. She was about to make sharks eat us. Come yeah, on. but I mean, like, she was protecting her home and stuff, like... You Atlanteans right, exiled fine. me! Why did we Why did we exile you? I don't know, you don't like that I talk to sharks? <laughs> Are you... You're lying to me, aren't you? No, I'm serious. How it's, do you I'm insight a, check somebody? <laughs> I'm a... <laughs> uh, I'm a, uh... I'm a mutant. And you guys don't like mutants unless you make them your king. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. That bad. tracks. I bet he'd have mm -hmm. something to say about that. Probably also know if you're lying to me, too, though. So no, you sure it, you're, you're, we're really sticking with this story. Like, you sure there's nothing else you need to tell us before we go and... Can I tell if she's telling the truth? Uh, with your emotion control? Psychology. Uh, roll your intuition. Plus it's one column shift. Plus one calm shift. Okay. Give me a color. So 44. Um, my intuition is a typical five. That's in the white. But plus one calm shift. 
Uh, oh, that's probably still still in the white. Yeah, just misses. Just, just misses. Tamara, Tamara so has sure. remarkable intuition. No, sorry, Tamara has incredible intuition, but not the psychology skill. So ah, probably wouldn't be very good at the whole truth sayer thing. Mm. Um, you're not sure. She seems genuine, but you know. I'm going to give her her sharks back, but if she, like, sets them on us at this point, like, we're done. No there will be no more talking. <laughs> <laughs> she looks at you and says, you freaks, how come you get to uh, stay? Because you're royalty, right? Look at all I mean, of you. probably, yeah. Like, there's an injustice in the system if you're being perfectly honest with us, and I would be glad to take that up with the higher powers, like, if you want I don't care. I just want you to go away and leave me to my kingdom. What little I have of it. She just. <laughs> oh, she's real upset. Bye. Yeah, she, she's a little. She's a little. Most of salt you. watery. <laughs> uh, Bill, that was bad. <laughs> Pity laughs. Like, it's fine. <laughs> Tamar is like, are we going to seriously leave behind all the treasure? I mean, it belongs to somebody that would be stealing. And you guys have a problem with stealing? She You're staying in me. my home. You don't have a problem with stealing? What happened to hospitality? All right, all right, I suppose. Like, there are some rules that are so old, I'm not comfortable breaking them. And hospitality is one. I guess we weren't offered any food, though. No, we weren't. <laughs> Guys, we're not really guests here, but we did come into her house, and I'm still not cool with that. Uh, might I add that we were offered up as food to their sharks? Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that didn't happen. We won handily. There's no sport in this victory. Maybe Fine, next time, but I want extra clothes. <laughs> next, next time, bring Capri Suns, maybe. <laughs> So, uh, Sammy, go ahead and, and give yourself an extra roll, the plus one column shift to your occult lore, sure. uh, with, to your reason with your occult lore, and take another look at this thing. Okay. My occult lore is a, just a plus one column, column shift? Yeah, plus one column shift to your reason. Reason. So that okay. should be incredible, right? Yeah. Sixty-seven. Oh, what is that? What color? Uh, uh, incredible green. yellow. Oh, sweet! That's better than before. Okay, you are not entirely sure what this whole entire thing says because it's freaky. Right. Um, but the plaque—you can tell that this is uh, this comes from a temple to Dagon. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess I'll relay oh, that. No. She won't stop smiling for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm going to summon a demon. I'm going to summon an elder god. <laughs> I'm so excited. I feel it. Here I come. Um, All right. I'll take note of that. This is, this is a temple to Dagon. Yes. What's interesting is that Dagon is actually mentioned in the Old Testament of the Bible. That's the a fair point. Um, yeah, one group of the Philistines actually worshipped Dagon. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So, Howard Philip Lovecraft didn't invent everything that he wrote. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. All right, how do you want to handle this, Effie? I guess you want to know more. Uh, obviously. Is there, it's the, are the archaeologists still there? What are their opinions on that? Oh, yeah, they're there. They were hiding inside the stupid thing. And, <laughs> you know, it's like, okay. Fucking dark lady. <laughs> Excellent. So, Can we go uh, inside the temple? Can we check out the temple? It's not, yeah, it's, it's just like um, a piece of the oh, temple. Okay, so you can tell okay. that it was definitely from a temple. Yeah, but this plaque gotcha. that's actually on there. Um, you could take like a photostat, I guess, of this thing and. Tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, home. tomorrow, tomorrow. Come take a picture of this. Tomorrow's like, I'm Ariana. I've been taking pictures long time. <laughs> <laughs> She's like checking her Zoom, making sure she gets it all. She's looking. 
Doing All right, paper right, etches I, I, I endure the <laughs> amount of sass that is tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, this is going to require some research. Who's ready for library trips? Wonderful. <laughs> Parsley, I love that. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. Parsley, like, how much can we sell that for? <laughs> no, uh-uh. Nah, we are not selling this. How dare! <laughs> Listen, purple chick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take like a paper etching of it. You know, when you like rub your charcoal pencil over, yeah, or pencil, the pictures yep. of it. She's uploading it to her your personal account right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. That works. <laughs> okay. So you have now got that. Don't forget, write that down someplace so you know that you've mm -hmm. actually got that. And uh, yeah, fishing excursion over. And you guys can start uh, heading back up. They're like, okay, this mission's over. Let's go uh, crack open some Capri Suns. And as you guys start going on... <laughs> <laughs> sometimes i say something so stupid that megan just starts bouncing i love it <laughs> so um you guys get ready to start heading up you start like policing up your area and whatnot when all of a sudden you hear and feel uh you actually feel it before you hear it this big ruffling in the water it's huge it's unearthly uh you've never experienced something like this before uh, Archaeology and... guys, you might want to go ahead and get back to cover. <laughs> you fly up. Don't get too excited there, Effie. It's not what you think it is. <laughs> wow. So you guys, <laughs> so you guys start swimming up a little bit to check it out. And um, uh, what do you call it? When you get back up there, you see that there is a huge hole in the dome. Uh, the, the, the Atlantis Dome, the city of Atlantis Dome. And um, uh, what do you call it? The archaeologists are like, whoa, 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 hold back the ship, hold back the ship. And they pull it back and they start doing a check, the Sea Life Geiger counter. This, uh, this was some kind of an attack and it actually looks like there's radiation in the water right now. This is yeah. really bad. Well, fuck that. I need to get in there. My mom's in there. Yeah. <laughs> Ditto. I second that. Okay. Um, by going uh -huh. in there, you are going to have to roll for your endurance to not pass out from radiation sickness and possibly get hurt. I mean, like, who the fuck cares if I get hurt? I'll be back anyway. Well, I will be. But I'll, oh, I'll okay, go in anyway. So, no, uh, the... <sighs> I just swim fast. I get in, get out. You do. You swim fast. Okay. I'm like, I can't stop you. You're an adult and everything. I just, you know, I don't like it. Let's go. All right. Well, I, I need to find Sirius. Mm. I'll get mom. Okay. All right. Um, Tamara's hmm? just hanging back going, that's radiation. Yeah. <laughs> well, and you don't see it obviously, but you can see it on the Geiger counter. Smart um, decisions. <laughs> what you do, however, see Suan is a bunch of sea turtles that are kind of swimming around in a, almost like a flock of crows when they see something dead on the ground. And you see floating there is um, this, it looks like some woman. It no! could possibly wind up being Zora. Tamara's automatically already swimming towards their first aid in hand. Good. Okay. She has first aid, right? <laughs> so she does, right? Yep. Yeah. So she's, and she's also asking the turtles what they saw because she's getting information at that point because that's the strategic thing to do in a disaster. Uh, they say, we all feel sick, um, uh, not feeling good. Uh, blackness coming, sleep coming. Uh, but Zora, Zora Master hurt. Don't know where to bring her. So Tamara's going to try to lift her and and point them to a direction that's safe. So she's trying to get them away from the city. Okay. So they grab onto her with, uh, one of them grabs on, with, uh, two of them grab on with the mouths and start <laughs> swimming away. The other 
six start following also and try and grab you onto the uh, the back. Yeah. And they start fleeing to an area that's safe. Mm -hmm. um, Effie, uh, mm -hmm. Sammy, I want you to make. Okay, so you're you're flying super, you're swimming super fast, uh, fast like as literally. I can like a freaking torpedo mm -hmm. uh, if you knew what one of those things were anyway you're like I'll, i have to take a point of health damage to do that right um yes yes yeah. every round that's gonna uh get you there okay um we'll, we'll we'll get to that in a hot moment you have to make an endurance roll in order to stay conscious what's your endurance incredible uh remarkable okay remarkable 26 yeah you brought it down one calm shift because i did Okay. I rolled a 57, so that's remarkable. In, in the green. green. Okay. You're fine this round. Um, <clears throat> so you you get to you get to home. Mm -hmm. And when you get there, um, you find your 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 stepdad is father-in-law. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Your your uh, what would he be called? Your adopted father or whatever. Um, Kaya's dad out on a, another one of those military excursions and whatnot. So and, he's not uh, home. No, he's yeah, he's not okay. in the city at all. But okay. um, intuition to find your mom. The house is not necessarily wrecked completely, but yeah, it's not in perfect shape. The balcony is gone. A, uh, the living room doesn't look like the living room anymore. Intuition. Yes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> That's a 96. Oh, sick. Okay, you yeah. find her in a heartbeat. She's actually trying to come out, and she's looking um, a little bluish green at this point. Aww. She's Yeah, she's really not Aww. feeling good. And she says, Effie, get out. Where's Kaya? You two girls, go. She's okay. I'll grab her, and, and we'll just let's go. Come on, we got to go. One more endurance feat. <laughs> Okay, you are also allowed to spend karma, by the way, if you're afraid that the um, the roll isn't going to be high enough. And in this particular case, this round, you have to get in the yellow or higher. I'll spend as much karma as I need to. Okay, by saying um, you spend karma, you automatically spend 10. And then you okay. can choose how much more you need if you need it. Is it point for point? I can't remember. Okay. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I needed it. That's an 18. Oh, yeah. You need to get 66. I'll spend 66. Okay, cool. So that's uh, 50, 48, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So just subtract 48 from your karma total, and yep. boom, you are safely out of the radiation zone. Okay. Um, what do you call it? And Kaya, mm -hmm. your your not even betrothed just your your boy toy your 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 beloved let's say beloved let's say that's that. a good not word your betrothed, for it but your beloved um you know that he should probably be off in the actual throne room itself uh okay. that's not going to be the easiest to get to no probably not but i mean if somebody was going to be aiming somewhere that's probably about where they were aiming so i kind of go that way anyway okay if i want to know what's going on here and i do Mm hmm okay so the um uh I'm, I'm gonna help you out a little bit listen we could take the sub so the the um the, the sorry the archaeologists say listen we could take the sub isn't that going um, to be exposing you to the radiation yeah but this thing's supposed to protect us from stuff for you know up to a certain while so we'll have a better chance All of right. surviving this how long so, have we got uh Basically, instead of every round, it'll be every four rounds. So it's going to take, I'll say, you know what? I'll say it's going to take you about three rounds to get there. Uh, okay. To the throne room. So once you get there, I'm going to need an intuition roll. Okay. I believe in you. Uh, this is going to be cutting it really close, I am sure. I am just in the green with a 47. Okay, that works. Green is all you need okay. right now. Next round, you'll need a yellow. <laughs> that was um, intuition, not endurance, right? 
That's right. Okay. Uh, yeah, because that's actually. Oh, yeah, that's actually find them. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I actually. Okay, if, if that was endurance, then. Uh, no, no, no. no. Then I, I'm already in the yellow. No, I know I'm still in the green. Just okay. uh, barely still in the green, though. Yeah, I, I actually forgot what you were rolling for because I'm thinking too fast. I'm trying to think way ahead. I'm trying to think uh, if Cat, Cat, do you want to do anything? Is there anything you can think of to do? Not really. No worries. I'll no worries. just sit there playing my video games like usual. <laughs> wow. Um, no, you know what? EMP shock. Your uh, electronic doesn't work. Sorry. <laughs> and I'll sit there and just cry. There we go. Probably <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'll be shielded. Unfortunately. No, I'm, I'm, the thing that I love most about this is that it's totally setting you up for a moment where you're like turning it around and being completely badass later, and it'll be so awesome because. Yeah. Of all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, every, every time that she fights something, um, it's like, she it looks like the broken video game. Oh, I'm going to whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, okay, so with your uh, intuition roll, you're able to find where the, the actual barracks room is, where he's supposed to be and whatnot. The, uh, the throne room proper, because he'd probably be one of the advisors for, uh, or secondary advisors for Namor. You do find that throne room. You find a whole bunch of dignitaries in there. For the most part, most of them are okay. Namor himself is actually in there. And he looks at you and he recognizes you and he he kind of recognizes you, whatever. He just, he he looks at you. He doesn't see it as a threat. And um, he's grabbing a bunch of people and he looks at you and he's like, take, take some. And I do. I do not need to be told twice. (laughs) All right. So you load a bunch of uh, people on the sub and, and grab on or go inside. It's not a very big sub, but. Uh, like, do I see serious what we're doing all of this? Because oh, yes. I'm looking, but I am actually, definitely helping. Actually, he's got him. So he, he's got okay. him under one of his arms. And then he just starts swimming out. And Namor is not quite as fast as Sub, but he's pretty damn fast. Mm-hmm. And um, boom, you guys zip out. Actually, I think Namor's faster. <laughs> Who cares? So anyway, yeah, you guys are zipping out. So um, make one endurance roll. And yeah. Just <laughs> suspense ah. <laughs> okay so uh, my endurance is incredible and i rolled a 59 and this is just like just barely not in the yellow oh no this first round you only have to get in the green oh, okay because yeah, it was actually an intuition roll before okay yes, good, yes. good 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 this time i remembered <laughs> what i was doing so um yeah no you're perfectly fine um yeah, okay, so you're able to get out of the radiation zone. None of you get particularly sick. And uh, Namor is effing pissed. But you guys are all in the presence of Namor, and he is just this ridiculously sexy guy. And yes, I'm saying that as a straight guy. He yes. is an unbelievably sexy beast. <laughs> and he's just like... I do not even notice. <laughs> uh, Zurius is unconscious. He wound up uh, succumbing to some of the radiation poison. He'll be fine, though. Um, some of the medics are there. Um, Sue Ann is mom. there. Tamara is uh, helping with first aid. She's looking over at Navagara going, nice ass. But she goes and returns to her first aid. <laughs> <laughs> In those uh, those scale male green shorts, he does have a nice ass. <laughs> um, what do you call it? So, uh, yeah, mom is is okay. She She's sick. She actually throws up a little bit. But for the most part, she's okay. Uh, throwing up underwater is really messed up. <laughs> It's really messed up, but yeah. Um, what do you call it? For the most part, everybody's okay. And Namor is especially concerned. Uh, he's just like, you know, Lady Dorman. He looks back at you and he recognizes, oh, yeah, that's right. Oops. <laughs> like that. The daughter that I could have technically had if I wasn't a soul dickweed. Anyway, <laughs> so he's like, um, Lady Dormer, are you okay? And like, there's actually a moment there and she looks up and she kind of, yes, my king, I'm fine. And it's like, <laughs> cold. You, you go, mom. <laughs> you go, mom. She's like, she's appreciative and she does still love him, but it's got to be bagel snubbing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can actually watch. She's just kind of laying there on my lap right now. She's just like, like they're chilling out. And she just like casually reaches over and it's like, oh, dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
so um what do you call it um yeah she's okay and and like the concern is cool but like yeah it's a platonic you know appreciation and boom so what happened do we know and i might be being just a little bit impertinent in the way that i ask this 100 percent. i'm backing you up on this kaya really her no <laughs> By the way, don't challenge Namor to a duel. He will. I'm not. <laughs> I wasn't going to. I'm not that impertinent, but I will speak very directly because who has time to observe formalities when we just got bombed? Right? Like, mm -hmm. so, um, Tara subtly taking a picture of his butt for later. Oh my God. <laughs> Please don't get me challenged to a duel tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna slap his ass with my flipper. <laughs> Just I don't know. This is so bad. Nice. Really? This is so bad. This is the king of Atlantis. You know this is the king of Atlantis. Well. <laughs> I mean, we just got attacks, but there's radiation right. everywhere. Evacuation right. just had to happen. Just chill. Stand down. <laughs> Ty's still giving first aid. He just did it subtly. Nobody noticed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. oh my God. We, we just they just entered our house's service you, um, like just a thousand thousand pardons but like my question still stands what just happened um i don't know and um he start. uh what do you call it? he's he's ordering people around and boom all of a sudden vane shows up with uh four of his legionnaires and like, my king, my king, we saw a human sub. It was there. It fired one of their torpedoes. Uh, that's what actually struck the dome. Why and did they just, do something like that? Does Vane look <laughs> sick? Huh? Does Vane look sick? No. He uh, doesn't. Not particularly. He, yeah, he's perfect. He seems, you know, good enough. He's he's fine. Hmm. Um, hmm. Uh, right? What do you call hmm. it? Yeah. All these guys. Um, uh, you know, to to... What do you call it? Anyway, so he says, uh, he says, which direction did they go? Um, my king, they went in that direction. We we tried to follow the the sub was too, but we, you know, there there was too much going on. We 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 tried to send a party to go, and they had to turn around after some time. We needed everybody for the evacuation. Um, we were off patrolling in the outskirts and, and only saw them as they were leaving. We didn't realize that's what was actually going on until we'd actually gotten to the scene. Hey, Effie, um, do you huh? think you could scry or something? Like maybe like read the energy or whatever. I don't know how any of that magic shit works, but if anybody knows how to do this, it's going to be you. I can see if I can try and tell if he's lying or I could try and read his emotions. Like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know which one would be more effective. Do you have empathy? Mm. or just emotion. emotion control it's just emotion control yeah that's different unfortunately so i'll go with psychology let's see if he's lying okay make your roll at plus one calm shift to your reason actually in this case it would be your intuition sorry that's an 83 under with, uh intuition with the column shift would be good 83 okay that's a yellow not too bad um He's mostly telling the truth. Mostly. There's something there, though. You're not okay. entirely sure what. It barely seems like enough to actually act upon, but possibly something to investigate. He's hiding something. I'm not sure what. Kaya. It would be anything absolutely huge over something like this, but keep an eye on him and we'll see if it pops up. Mm -hmm. And... <sighs> I don't know, whatever they need of us, we'll just do it for the time being. Like times like these are not the times to go rocking the boat or yeah. the stuff, oh. as it were. Some of the medics show up and they do have medicine against radiation sickness and it's also a preventative. So okay. he starts distributing the tablets to everybody. Uh, Lady so, Dorma immediately feels better. What about the general townsfolk? Like have we gotten on getting them out yet? Uh, they're actually, that was part of what Namor was doing. He's like actually sending okay. people in for the evacuation and whatnot. Uh, I think I would go and help with that. Like, I'm fine. There is nothing wrong with me. I can't die in there. So I'm just going to go start getting civilians and let you guys do your planning thing. Uh, yeah, excellent. So you guys all help out with the, mm -hmm. uh, the rescue operations. Um, there's going to be a lot of dig up after, 
after um, what do you call it, a couple of days anyway, the radiation would mostly be pulled out mm-hmm. um, with with the tides and whatnot. But yeah, you guys do know that there is a possibility that a bunch of people could still wind up being hurt, trapped in there and whatnot. Um, you do come across some deaths as you're doing what you're doing. I'm going to mostly get into that stuff in the next mission. But for this particular mission, yeah, this was a very devastating attack. Mm. And not cool. Not cool. Um, karma. So everybody can... T- and you know what? I should actually probably write this stuff down myself at first. Let me get my mechanical pencil. Uh, we're going to do 30 for shark lady <laughs> um took a fill character made up and you guys just like psh, blew right through her bagel's gonna of course play with my pencil as i'm writing um as cats do as yeah. cats do Before the rest I can only time. neutralize one of them at a time, so if you send more than one person at us, then that doesn't work quite so easily. What? What are you, what are you talking about? Are you trying to neutralize my cat? You better back off. Woman. No, I'm saying that <laughs> if you send multiple bad guys at us, I can only neutralize one of them. Oh, no. No, the mission's over. I'm adding up karma right now. No, I know. I'm just saying, oh. like, I, like for future reference, we won't blow through them that fast if there's more than one. Yeah. yeah well, that's why there was a whole bunch of sharks. <laughs> and I just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot. There's that wasn't my fault. That was Tamara. No, that was, that was your fault. She wasn't able to control the sharks. You neutralized her power, so she couldn't control the sharks anymore. And, and then, then Tamara blinded the sharks. Suen Tamara decided to blind the sharks instead of controlling the metrics. Yeah. Tamara had her kids right. on her feet, okay? It's not her fault. <laughs> uh, so what else was cool that happened? You, oh, you guys helped out the uh, the thief? So actually, that was um, um, Effie specifically. So that's uh, five, so that's ten for that. Um, what else? Shoot, somebody just did something cool a couple minutes ago. I forget what it was. Damn it! I knew I should have wrote this stuff down. Um, what did it have to do with? I can't remember. Some little thing that I'd be like, "Oh, that was cool. That's worth some karma." I'm sorry, Bagel. My leg is not in a good position. There we go. Little tiny cat can feel so heavy. Wife's cooking something. I'm about to go eat that. Um, <laughs> what have you now? Um, damn it. I'm sorry. Okay, I got to start um, giving you guys karma immediately instead of, instead of waiting for the end. When you do something cute or cool or something like that, I'll just, yeah, throw some karma just at you. Just make a note and let us write it down. Yeah. All right. We can throw it in the, in the private chat and then yeah. we'll remember. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, you just take it immediately and just add it to your uh, your your this total karma. Um, so anyway, um, yeah. You just gave me ten. Yeah, I just gave you ten. I don't even remember what it was for right now. Like my mind is racing. I'm thinking of what I got to do. And plus, that smell. The, really it was good. the kid. Girl. Yes, yeah. the, two, the, the two times he helped the kid. Yes. Um, okay. What else? Tamara did. She did first aid. Yeah, you uh, first. Well, that that goes with the rescue operation. On top of that, you um, oh, you did have your your little thing. So yeah, um, actually, so everybody's going to get an extra thirty for that. Hold on, I'll give everybody. Uh, okay, so one hundred and sixty karma each, Ooh. plus the individuals that I give for you guys. So an extra ten for um, Sue Ann. You did something earlier. Crap. <laughs> I'm all I'm literally all over the place right now. Okay, this is dumb. Next time you guys do individual cool things, I'm just gonna throw the car at you right away. Just don't forget to jot it down. You don't have to remember what you did it for, just literally add the karma points to your pools or whatever. I was just about to give you ten, Sue Ann, so boom, ten. Um extra five for cat for beating her high score. Uh let's see. Kaya, what did you do that was awesome? I think I remember you doing something that was awesome. Nothing awesome for you. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what else? Anything? Uh, anything you guys want to ask before we go? So we had a hundred from last time, and then yep. so two hundred and seventy for me. So oh, far. Pl- plus a thing that I do is whatever your karma is that you usually have from your RIP stats, you add that to your karma again. Every single mission, cool. the beginning of every mission. What are our RI rip, rip stats rate? So, yep. 
I don't think I had any karma. I don't know. Remember. Uh, what are your three stats or your three attributes for RIP? What's the number? The, the three uh, numbers. 70. Oh, added them all up at 70? Yeah. Cool. Then the beginning of every mission, give yourself 70 karma points. And oh, do cool. we do that automatically or are you going to tell us? Um, I'll remind you, but yeah, you okay. can just do that automatically. Yep. So I have cool. to add another additional 70. You poor girl. <laughs> Stop making me do math, Professor. I'm not you ever, you ever just Type in hello upside down on the, on the calculator. <laughs> of course. <laughs> hello. Once upon a time in the fourth grade. grade. Is it me work. you're looking for? <laughs> oh geez, Lionel Richie. Um okay, so I think that's it. So we'll we'll talk for a couple of minutes afterwards, but for right now, guys, we're out. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. This uh, mission, also the end of this mission, ends up with Team A's mission that was episode four. The end of episode four is also the end of episode two. So take that. And I'm out. Professor Bill, Comic Book University and crew. Last dismissed. Bye guys. <laughs>